you not only need to know him as God, the Holy Ghost, but he is the Lord of Spirits. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today, and you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstrock. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here, and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Well, I am someone, and if you can hear it, I have a message. Either I am or I'm not. Either I do or I don't. And some people don't like it this plain. Some people have never been exposed to words like this. And the more advanced you are or you think you are in your doctrine, the more likely you're going to reject what I have to say. But you don't know it all. You know a very, very small amount. Jesus said there are many things that he wants to say to you, but you couldn't bear it. And that applies today. It still applies. There's many things that need to be said, but you can't bear it. In fact, this message tonight is going to be way too much for a lot of people but many others are ready for it many others are willing and ready to hear these words i wrestled with this and i wrestled with it thinking there's no way that they're ready for this but the Holy Ghost corrected me and he said if you can get this revelation listen if you can get this revelation that Jesus is not here presently with you today then you can go to where I'm taking you with this message tonight John chapter 14 verse 1 let not your heart be troubled you believe in God believe also in me verse 2 in my father's house are many mansions if it were not so I would have told you I go to prepare a place for you verse 3 that where I am you may be also say where I am you may be also now where are these mansions jesus said i'm gonna go and prepare a place for you in my father's house where's the father's house in heaven where's the mansions in heaven jesus said he's gonna go and prepare a place for you that where he is say where he is you may be also right where is he not here where are the mansions not here they're with him and then you're gonna go to where he is are you getting this well if you can get this revelation that Jesus is not here now a lot of people don't like that message Jesus is not here Jesus is there Jesus is at the Father's right hand and shall return John chapter 16 verse 7 nevertheless I tell you the truth it is expedient for you that I go away it's expedient meaning it has to be this way it has to be this way Jesus must go away for if I go not away then the comforter will not 
come unto you but if i depart i will send him unto you and he goes on to say when he is come let's see right down here uh verse 12 i have yet many things to say unto you but you cannot bear them now how be it when he the spirit of truth is come so he's the comforter he's the spirit of truth and when jesus is away and the comforter has come you will be able to bear understand receive and know things that you can't know unless jesus is away well if you can get this revelation that jesus is not here then you can have the revelation that i'm presenting to you tonight that i didn't think you were ready for but the holy ghost says you are he the holy ghost will not come and will not reveal himself to you in this way that i'm talking about tonight without jesus having gone away and not being here it's something he refuses to reveal to people unless jesus has gone and is away say is away presently is not here if you can get that you can get this which is expedient for you second corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16 nevertheless when it shall turn to the lord the veil shall be taken away it's a curtain it's a small curtain that blocks things from behind the curtain and when it's taken away you see something that you don't see otherwise what do you see you say verse 17 the veil's taken away now the lord is that spirit now the lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the lord is or literally where the spirit lord is there is liberty the spirit lord now the lord is that spirit the spirit lord jesus never turned into the spirit lord jesus is still away at the father's right hand and sent the holy ghost to be with you and he the holy ghost is the spirit lord say he the holy ghost is the spirit lord knowing him in this way enables you to have expediently things that you couldn't have or know any other way but jesus is not the holy ghost jesus never turned into the holy ghost and never turned into the spirit lord he sent the holy ghost he sent the spirit lord to be with you the spirit lord say the spirit lord well if i'm to take you into all the things of the spirit lord then he must first be the spirit lord to you who's the spirit lord jesus is the spirit lord no jesus is not the spirit lord jesus is the lord jesus and shall return but now the lord is that spirit holy ghost he must first be the spirit lord to you and if so he has begun revealing himself to you in a way that he won't reveal to people who won't let jesus go away are you here january 1st 2022 in the morning first thing i was visited personally by the holy ghost as a person and frankly it freaked me right out you know we all talk about yes the holy ghost is a person 
we still harbor some of those things that well he's just he's just a force he's just he's just a power he's all these things that we've been taught over the years you understand that but he no he's he's literally a person and when he showed up he introduced himself to me as the Lord of Spirits personally he introduced himself to me as the Lord of Spirits not Jesus say Jesus is not the Spirit Lord so you can't go here what I'm talking about unless you have that fully in your grasp that Jesus is not here and he's not the Spirit Lord who is the Spirit Lord the Holy Ghost is the Spirit Lord well he came in my room and introduced himself to me as the Lord of Spirits you not only need to know him as God the Holy Ghost comforter helper teacher Spirit Lord but he is the Lord of Spirits there's no greater spirit in the earth than he he's the most high spirit he's the most high ghost he's the Holy Ghost there's no greater spirit in the earth he is the Lord of spirits and you're a spirit say I'm a spirit you're a spirit you have a soul you live in a body you're a spirit being he is the Lord of spirits he says I am the Lord of spirits we walk with him God the Holy Ghost in the earth and we worship him and we serve him he is the Lord of spirits John 4 24 says God is a spirit the Holy Ghost is God the Holy Ghost is a spirit the Holy Spirit God is a spirit and they that worship him say they that worship him they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth God is a spirit he's the Spirit God he is the Spirit Lord he is the Lord of spirits the Lord of what spirits the Lord of they that worship him if you got that you get you got the whole thing he's the Lord of spirits that worship him he's the Lord of spirits that worship him God is a spirit and they that worship him worship him in spirit and in truth they that worship him is a subclass of people who worship the Spirit of God as opposed to those who don't worship him people that are spirit beings that worship him he's the Lord of they that worship him he's the Lord of spirits are you getting this God is a spirit they that worship him as opposed to those who don't worship him say worship him he says bring them back into the worship of me and I said back what do you mean back back into the worship of me the Lord of Spirits God who is a spirit what do you mean back well let's go back Genesis chapter 3 verse 8 and they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day walking how does God walk he walks with his voice then they heard him because he's a speaking spirit they knew him because they had been walking with him before we're talking about God who is a spirit 
Genesis chapter 6, verse 3, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he also is flesh. Up till that point, when they'd eaten the fruit and knew that they were flesh, they didn't even know they were flesh. They just walked with God, the Spirit, the Spirit God. That was the pre-sin era meaning they were pre-sin that was before sin came and corrupted them and made it difficult for them to walk with god but back then they walked with the spirit god in the earth say they walked with the spirit god in the earth he's the same holy ghost that was back then that jesus sent to be with us today He's the same Holy Ghost that was back then that Jesus sent to be with us today. Bring them back into the worship of me. Romans chapter 4 verse 8 says, Blessed is the man to whom the Lord will not impute sin. Is that in your Bible? Would that be a blessing? blessed is the man to whom the Lord will not impute sin he won't consider you as even having sin where's this you're going back to pre sin what Lord the Spirit Lord walking with the Spirit Lord as God and he doesn't even consider sin he doesn't impute sin to you are you here we've come full circle because listen Hebrews chapter 10 verse 2 because that the worshipers say worshipers the worshipers once purged should have had no more conscience of sins worshipers once purged should have no more conscience of sins who the worshipers well here we see that worshiping him has something to do with whether you're conscious of your sins or not worship will take you into that place where you're no longer conscious of your sins just like adam and eve they weren't conscious of sins they didn't even know what it was they just walked with the Lord of Spirits as God in the earth and full circle we've come walking with the Holy Ghost as the Lord of Spirits in the earth these are things that only worshipers of God the Spirit can know worshiping God the Holy Ghost the Spirit God the Lord of Spirits you can know this number one he's not Jesus he's not an anointing he is the Lord of Spirits and you shall know him in this way Holy Ghost I worship you I thank you that you are the Lord of Spirits revealing yourself to us in this day and in this way and we can walk with you without sin in the earth knowing you fulfilling all that you've called us to fulfill in all the things of the Spirit Lord we shall live in and walk in in Jesus name amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I worship you you are the Lord of Spirits you cause me to walk with you as God in the earth and I know your glory I know your wealth I know your healing health and you through it is part of my being because I've learned that you are God and I worship you and these are things I know because I'm a worshiper of you. Jesus at his right. Jesus' name. Amen. Holy go.
ghost your God in the earth to 